Hello and welcome back. The day many F1 fans hoped would never come, but knew someday it would, has finally passed. Murray Walker has died at the age of 97. Murray Walker was the live television commentator for Formula One from 1976 to 2001, as well as covering a range of other motorsports throughout his career, including Formula 3, Formula Ford, the Isle of Man TT, and British touring cars. For many, he will be the definitive voice of F1, as he was for me. Uh, for many, he will be the voice of their childhood, as he was for me. Uh, and for many, he will be irreplaceable, as he is for me. Murray always had the right words for the right moment, and on many occasions, he also had the wrong words for the right moment. Over the course of his career, he became famous for his Murrayisms, these slightly contradictory one-liners where we all knew what he was trying to say, but in the heat of the moment, it just kind of came out wrong. Some classics include, uh, there's nothing wrong with the car except that it's on fire. Um, <laughs> this circuit is interesting because it has inclines and declines, not up, but down as well. And I imagine the conditions in those cars must be <laughs> totally unimaginable. <laughs> there are so many more. It's hard to pick just a few, and I'm sure you all have your favourites. But the Murrayisms are not what made Murray Walker special. He loved motor racing through and through, and you could hear that in every word he spoke. Yes, it's the commentator's job to change their tone, to suit the occasion, excitement, elation, despair, but there's no one who quite made you feel it the way that Murray did. And that's because while commentating was his job, he was a devoted fan of the sport above all else, filled with the energy and excitement of a young boy who just discovered racing for the first time, and he maintained that throughout his career. That's probably why, as a five-year-old, I loved listening to him so much and became a fan of motorsports. His commentary of Damon Hill crossing the line to win the World Championship in Japan 1996 is one of the defining moments of my childhood. The way his voice swelled as Hill turned through the final chicane and said he took the lead and he stayed there and Damon Hill wins the Japanese Grand Prix and now I've got to stop because I've got a lump in my throat. Like that's a pale imitation. Like I'm not going to play the clip here because I'll get copyrighted. It's out there. Watch it. Among with everything Murray you can find, whether you've seen it already or whether you're, you know, are just kind of becoming aware of him now because of his passing, just go watch it because he was brilliant. Murray's passing is a terrible loss and I'm not sure we'll ever see his like again. But he had such a long and successful career doing what he loved and was seemingly a gentleman who was just as loved away from the circuit as well. His is very much a life to be celebrated. To quote Murray himself, it's a sad ending, albeit a happy one. Thanks, Murray. Rest in peace.